Howdy, Possum Patty here, and it's Flip Through Friday. And which journal am I going to pick today? Well, today's Friday flip through is my very first altered composition notebook. And I just loved the cover on this notebook. I ordered this, I believe from Amazon. I can put a link below from a company out of Texas. And because I love the cover so much, I did not alter the outside of the book. But the inside, I did glue like three or four pages together. And all I did was take some glue stick, sh sh sh, put the pages together, and then added the tape along the edge. I bought this tape from Walmart, but was not really happy with it because in some places the shiny bits didn't come out correctly. It's like when you're pulling it off the roll, one side stuck to the other side. I don't know, but it looks okay. So I alternated sort of a lavender with a blue. Also, this book came out way too chunky. I'm about ready to blow the spine, but I hope it holds together. And when I started it, like I said, this was my very first one. I wasn't really sure what I was going to put on the pages, so I just started in and I put a piece of happy mail I received. This was back in January of this year. I stamped happy in mail. I did some doodling, some stamping along the edge added a piece of scrapbook paper and inside is a note and a hand-painted nature card of a cup plant from my friend Carol. She painted this. So I wanted to keep that and remember that. So if you have been a faithful follower for this whole entire year, you've probably watched me make all these pages. But if you're a new subby, Welcome! And I'm going to flip through here. And then if you're interested in how I made any of these pages, um, you can go back and watch how I made each page. So this was a day I did some baking. I made some muffins with fresh blueberries, gluten-free. Put some stickers. Just doing some journaling. Uh, it was my stepdaughter's birthday and I baked her a gluten-free chocolate cake. I just made a little card here. My kitty's trying to get my attention. And some washi tape along the side. Over here, some scrapbook paper. This was some happy mail from a friend, Linda. And she sent me these Harley gnomes because Mr. Possum used to have a Harley. And I added these photographs of me with our Harley at the pagoda in the city of Reading. And this is, oh, I didn't put a date. But here we are at a Harley rally somewhere. We used to go to a bunch of them. And I'm terrible, terrible, terrible about putting names, dates, places, on the back of my pictures because I figure, ah, I'll never forget where that was. And I always do. Oh, here's another one. Uh, these pictures might be in York, Pennsylvania, where they have the Harley factory because they do have rallies there. And here's a really nice picture of the bike we used to have, 97 Springer, but we don't have that anymore. I got a Harley sticker to put over there. I did this page back in March when I got this happy mail from Linda, some washi tape. And this is my vaccination, fighting COVID. Got the night there. And I just have a little folder here of our vaccine information from when we were vaccinated. Some scrapbooking paper, you know, they give you the little band-aid to put on your arm when you get your shot, COVID-19 shot. Oh, Mr. Possum's working on the lawnmower. And I do a lot of food-based pages because I love the packaging. 
and we went and had dinner at my brother's house and people say that he looks a little bit like the George Clooney maybe not in this picture but people say he does so we had some lunch and of course my sister-in-law made some delicious lasagna but I have to eat my vegan gluten-free vegetable lasagna and we took a walk over to the farm Across the street there was a farm selling some flowers and they had some farm animals that we could look at. So this is George Clooney from a magazine. So I added him on there. Put a little family sticker there. Fun paper in the background and washi tape. Some more stickers. Just make, making a little like scene on the page there. Let's get tacos. Oh, I made a taco cluster. I forgot about that. Because I was saying I hadn't made so many clusters in my lifetime, but I made a taco cluster right there with some ribbon and lace trim and scrapbooking paper and a sticker. I have two journaling cards and one is round scrapbook paper with sewing around the edge and a little ribbon. And this is to remember which uh, flour tortilla Mr. Possum liked. Some kinds he likes, some kinds he doesn't. So I thought I'd save the packaging so I can remember which ones he liked the best. And of course I can't have the flour one, I have the corn ones, and this day I had the white corn tortilla. So just some more food journaling. And this was to remember my friend on the anniversary of her birthday, but she has passed from breast cancer. So I made her the pink ribbon, and this is her on her horse. We used to go Bud, her horse's name was Bud Riser, 313. And in, I have a secret pocket here. And there was something in the secret pocket. Oh, that's a, um, that's my medical report <laughs> from my mammogram in the secret pocket. The vernal equinox, and I take these silk flowers and I pull off the plastic bits and I glue them down into my journal. Dollar Tree butterflies, paper leaves, nice pink gingham in the background, some journaling, and these are supposed to be my floating butterflies, but they kind of got pressed flat. But if you bend the acetate on these, they will like sort of pop out on the page a little bit. So a whole bunch of butterflies. And this was a remembrance page for my nephew who was still born. And I put like a garden in the background and I cut out some of the flowers and put them in front of the angel baby because he's our little angel baby. Put his name up there, some flower letters. So that's my little Daniel's garden. And this is um, celebrating our anniversary, 23rd anniversary, Mr. Possum. I put him, I gotta get the cat off my lap. Ugh. Cause then I can't stand up. Mr. Possum down here in the truck. There he is. And I drew this little truck, and I put love Lucy because he calls me Lucy. And just a fun page, some heart stenciling in the background. We were celebrating our anniversary on Valentine's Day. And let's see. Oh, this is on March 21st. At 8.56, I ran outside with my bathrobe on and stood in the driveway to watch the International Space Station fly over my house. And this is like from a Maxine cartoon, but I put my face there. And I made a little flip. And I got a NASA app where you can put your photograph inside a astronaut and some more fabric. And I stamp that with a little alien there, and then that flips up. And there's another picture of me in the cosmos. 
and a stamp with the uh, U.S. Enterprise on there. I did some slow stitching around with gold th thread. And I got a couple layers on here with some netting and some felt and some muslin. And another picture of me out in the cosmos. And then down here at the bottom is like one little dot and that's glow in the dark paint. So if you take this into the closet, there's one little dot there that glows in the dark. And another picture of me in the cosmos. So basically all I saw was this shiny light passing across the sky. And so that's me recording the International Space Station flying over my house. But I thought I'd make this fun flip with all different materials and fun photos to remember the event, which I'd already forgotten about. All right, we're kind of sticking together. We did a family Zoom bingo. It's a really fun, bright page. Oh, there's a Mod Podge on there. That's why it gets a little sticky. And this was a card from my sister, and we played the bingo game. Oh, and she passed out these little gnome scratch-offs to see who would win prizes. So I made a little pocket out of the hearts because it was for Valentine's Day. And here's another happy Valentine's Day. Oh, this in the background, this is... Um, tissue paper from the Dollar Tree and then I put Mod Podge on it and this is an old Valentine's Day card I made a little pocket and there's another Valentine's Day card on the inside so I'm just saving some memories cards and photos And this is from an old music sheet, I believe. And I took up a page from the music book, sheet music, I guess you'd call it. I made an envelope, and where I'm taking my lessons is called Keys to Fun. And that's Velcro. And you open inside, and it's an accordion fold-out. And I was writing down the names of the songs that we were learning keeping track of my music there. Beautiful card here with a butterfly closure. Scrapbook paper in the back. And this is a birthday card from my brother. But my son came over on my birthday and he brought me a little gluten-free cupcake and we were celebrating. Oh, and here's, I put a picture of my brother back when he was in the army years and years and years and years ago. The little images here. I think that's from wrapping paper or something. Butterfly sticker for the closure. And remembrance of my mom's birthday. This is when she was 70. I think that's her 70. She's 90, what, three, two. She's 92 now. And this is, I think this was for me on my 70th birthday, but I was putting pictures of my mother when she was 70, which is strange. But I love this paper. This paper had um, just these colorful circles on it, and I took pens and I doodled all over it so that it matched this card. So I thought that was a lot of fun. Old picture of my sister, myself. And just part of a birthday card there. Oh, this card was from my sister. Fun memories. Very colorful. This book is very colorful. Oh, and this is, yeah, this is my 70th birthday. And my sister gave me this poster and I cut the poster up and put it in here to have it because it's too big to put in the journal. It's pretty big. There it is over here on the windows behind me right there. 
And they gave me balloons and I made a little cupcake and 70 I cut that off of the poster and there's some more of the poster in the pocket. So this was a lot of fun. Nice birthday surprise from the sisters. Because we couldn't have a big party, you know, because it was pandemic at the time. And some more food journaling over here. I got some really pretty bunny Christmas ribbon and stickers from the Dollar Tree. Happy Easter. Oh, I must have made an angel food cake for Easter. I don't write down enough. Oh, and I learned how to make these bunnies. You make this funny felt, the back of the bunny, and you put the tail and the back of the feet like the bunny's hopping away. So. Is my purple bunny to go in my little purple sticker and I added a ribbon to my sparkly egg. I did write down what we had for dinner though. Fun colorful pages. And then we took a nature walk and I made a little hike of where we went and things that we saw along the way. And we got this um, clover bush clover and I put some sparkly Mod Podge on there to kind of preserve it and I put in a little plastic and we found a feather and I put that in a little plastic and then the sticker I cut it in half so it's kind of like half on the page and half on the little pocket there for the bush clover that was our Easter hike and an old Easter card. I love how it's all this apple green and purple colors. So springy. And I made a pocket out of this card. And I got this idea from someone. And you use the, um, the heart punch to make kind of like a fancy thumb hole. And we played bingo for Easter. Again, my sister sent the little scratch-offs to win prizes and when my son was over we played this game called triominoes it's like dominoes but they have three sides that you have to match so that was a very nice easter visit i love these colors this green and purple oh the cats are fighting and here we have a ATC from Brittany. I put it in a little plastic. My first ATC swap. I went on a little nature walk. And I guess I saw some mushrooms. Here's the date. I put the date on a rabbit. And I have some die cuts. Scrapping paper, scrapbook paper, I call it scrapping paper. And then it snowed almost five inches. And we call this an onion snow in the spring. Did I put a date here? I don't know if I put a date on here. I should have put a date for the onion snow. Here it is, April 16th, 2021. So after the flowers start coming up, and the onion grass is growing and then it snows we call that the onion snow and i made this out of parchment paper to make it look like onion skins nice and crinkly and i used a little um, embroidery floss there for the little roots at the bottom and this is a real pansy it's dried pansy I put some Mod Podge on it, so it's hard to see, actually. And this is felt. I made some felt snow. Made a belly band, layered up with paper and ribbon and trim. And then in here I have ATC. And a little envelope. And this is from Linda. A little swap, decorated the envelope, some hearts and papers and stamps, ATC, a 
little journaling card, layered it all up. Linda, it's from Linda, she sent me a minion. A sparkly Mod Podge on here. Mod Podge is sticky. So I took a page from my gnome book and I used that as a background. And then I constructed a little house because I watched Linda make a door in one of her journals and I wanted to make a screen door. So I cut this out. I put a little netting in there for the screen. Those corner dies make it look like a, um, you know, they have the aluminum, the old aluminum screen doors had those fancy filigree things on them. Cut some little hinges out of material. Put a little, I think that's a brad for a doorknob. And then you open the door. And this is a, um, a mat for a small photo frame. And then I took a picture of the gnome from the gnome book. Put him inside the house there. He's pulling up a chair. He's welcoming you in. Pull up a chair. Have a seat. Sit a spell. So this page was a lot of fun to do. Little step here. Several layers for the house. And then there's a little secret pocket behind the house. And a little envelope and an ATC with a gnome on it from Linda. Linda knows I love my gnomies. So the ATC is from Linda and the idea of doing the little door is from Linda. A uh, birthday gift from my sister was a thing to cut pineapples with pineapple slicer and wedger I just put on here some uh, packaging this is from the packaging the picture of me in Costa Rica drinking a drink that was in a coconut one shoe on and one shoe off sitting on the side of the road drinking alcoholic drink from a coconut in Costa Rica I'm not going to explain that story to you now. This was from a packaging for a bird feeder. Cut the squirrel off. It's supposed to be anti-squirrel proof, whatever, and it was not. Did some nature journaling here. Some information about gray squirrels, and I added some of that faux fur on here to make a fuzzy squirrel tail. And some ribbon with little squirrels cute squirrels on them and die cut some acorns and the forsythia were blooming and I made these little forsythia bushes and I saw the robin that's our spring bird and the dandelions some rickrack and layered things up these this is packaging from all the flowers that I planted and almost every single thing got eaten, either by the insects or the critters. So it was very disappointing. April 24th, oh, we went to the diner. The diner opened back up. And at the diner, they had a placemat about New Jersey. And the diner is in Connecticut, but the placemat was talking about New Jersey. So I brought home the placemat and I made this really fun page with clowns from the circus and that boho rickrack and some balloon, animal balloons. And I put a picture of my mother and my Aunt Fanny because she was a jokester. She always loved to clown around and joke. And this clown has this big hammer and he's bopping her on the head. And I thought that went well because she was a jokester and she was born in New Jersey. So this whole page just kind of came out of that. <laughs> Going to the diner for breakfast. And this is the full willow moon in April and I just sketched a tree a picture of my grandmother's house and you could just about see the old willow tree right there in her side yard that I always remember.
the old willow tree from Grandma. And I don't know, fun page here. Let's see. This is a picture of me and my sister. I drew a quirky bird there. Got ribbon and bling. Old card there. Another old card. Oh, Earth Day stamps. That's interesting. April 7th, 2021. I guess this is a bird page. I got birds in the background and birds on here and bird over here. And this must be more Earth Day. We are all Earth's children. And I used this fuzzy yarn and felt to make these fiddleheads that were popping up at the time. I got the dove for Earth Day. And some journaling cards. I found some horse tails out in the back. And I went on a fern walk and I saw some ferns around the yard. Put on bling, of course. I have to have my bling. This one has boho trim. These pages are very bright and colorful for sure. And this is a Long John Silver's dinner packaging. And there is a picture of a walrus with his tusks. And this is from the packaging you get when you go to the dentist and it gives you, um, they give you a new toothbrush. Comes in this little plastic bag and I cut these out of that. And they send fun postcards to remind you of your dentist appointment. And this one had the really cute puppies on it. So we went and had our teeth cleaned. And then I'm, I'm reading my journal here. Fish takeaway from Long John Silvers. Oh, and I, I wrote, when I was in fourth grade, I had uh, friends that were twins. And their father hung a walrus poster on the bathroom door to remind them to brush their teeth. And this reminded me of that. And of course, it's on the back of a toothpaste package. So that was that day. And this is from the Dollar Tree, this big flower. And I am journaling about finding some butterflies. May 2nd, tiger swallowtail and a spring azure. and how they landed in the road. And then of course, the last page is May the 4th, May, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. A little Grogu, everybody loves a little Grogu. And I did paint his saber with some glow in the dark paint. So if you take this in the closet, that will glow in the dark. So this is just some journaling from the middle of January to the beginning of May. And it is a chunky monkey for sure. But every page is different. Every page is different. There's not like a style that runs through the whole book. It is just colorful and oh, there's my flying butterflies. Colorful and fun. Family, fun, and flowers. And friends. Friend mail in here, too. Well, thanks for coming along today. And I had a nice time walking down memory lane, even though this is just this year. Haven't looked at this in a while, so it's always fun to do a flip through. And again, like if you want to know how I made any of these pages, there are videos on every single page, I believe, and I will just put the playlist in the description below. And want to wish everybody happy junk journaling. Bye-bye now.